Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just want to give a brief introduction. My name is The Basic Builder, and I have been granted access by Keen Games to Enshrouded to bring you a building tutorial and to go over all the mechanics of the game. If you're interested, please follow the links down below in the description. Go ahead and wishlist it on Steam, and without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Basic Builder back in Enshrouded, bringing you my first building video of many. First off, I just want to go ahead and say again, thank you to Keen Games, the developers of this game Enshrouded, for allowing me to come in and show off some of the building mechanics as we will in this video. We are going to be talking about the voxel base uh, building mechanics as well as the blueprint and what you can do with them. Um, so without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, before we get started with showing you how to build the quick builder tool, a quick little note on how to zoom in and zoom out on your character. If you hold down the left alt button, use your middle mouse wheel, you can scroll in uh, to your character and all around. But just a little quick tip on that so now what we're going to do is in order to build you have to create or craft the quick builder tool so in order to do that and collect the resources so you're going to need um just some twigs here so we're going to press b on your on your invent uh, on your keyboard and that's going to open up your backpack we're going to go into crafting and we're going to select the quick option so we're going to either click space or you can actually click and there you go add the quick builder tool now we're going to go ahead and open it up from your hot bar and we are ready to start building um, one of the first things that you want to do before you place down any uh, building piece whatsoever is craft the flame altar. So what we're going to do is go back into our inventory, go to crafting and place down a flame altar. Only requires five stone, which you can run around the terrain. You can find the stone. Uh, if you watched the other vid uh, video that I have done with the tools, you can dig the stone out. Okay? So it's going to place your flame altar in your hot bar. So we're just going to go ahead, place it down. The flame altar, to interact with it, I'm going to jump up onto it and hit E. It's going to give you, behold, a glimmer of strength flame born. That's what you are. You are a flame born in this game. That's your character. Uh, felling the shroud root granted you skill points. Send them to the skill tree to unlock new wondrous powers. So you can just continue reading on that okay so here's your building area your flame altar you can upgrade it um, with what they call spark and you'll find this throughout the map um, but starting out with your base you get a building area of 25 meters by 25 meters so it's it's okay uh, size wise but obviously once you upgrade it you can add more you can tear down the buildings show you how to do all that all right so we're going to hit escape and go ahead and close and now we can start the building process okay so in order for me to do this i'm going to show you um how to do it <laughs> so we're going to hit eight which is uh our heart, uh, on our heart bar and we're going to press tab okay so this is going to give you the materials that you can use in order to to have that um so we're going to go ahead and craft a workbench, which is going to be the next thing we're going to do. Let's go ahead, craft a workbench. So we need to make some string. So let's go make some string. Let's grab a few more fibers by just coming up and looting them. And one more string and opens up our workbench. So let's craft it. It will all go into your hotbar. So let's go ahead. If you hold down R, you can rotate with your middle mouse wheel, or you can just press R and it will rotate it for you. Just like that. So again, we're going to hold Alt, kind of zoom in a little bit on our character. 
So you want to interact with a workbench. So here you need to build blocks. This is what you're going to need in order to make buildings. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and craft some stone and some wood. Okay. And I'm going to come right on over here. I'm going to press eight to open up my quick builder tool and tab. So from here, you can select if you want the buff wooden block or the stone block. Now the voxel based modification or the voxel based properties of building is where you can place these single blocks down, which is cool. So if we want to do that, we can press some wood and start clicking. And the good thing about this tool is I'm going to use this as like a, a scaffolding, right? So you can you know, just manipulate blocks everywhere, all like that. Okay. Very cool, very handy tool. Now, if you're like, oh man, I placed a block, I didn't mean to do that. No worries. Just go over the block and right click and it will delete that block for you. Just like that. And the good thing is get all your resources and materials back. Okay. So very good uh, tool, very useful tool, very powerful tool. So make sure that you use it when you are building. Trust me, I don't want to do it. Now let's talk about the blueprint building. Other than this, uh, the, the little voxel, you can go here. So you have two meter, you have a two meter foundation, a narrow wall, a wall with a window, a door frame, a column, ceiling, wall, uh, normal wall, stairs, and your roof trusses, and a staircase wall. You have your four meter, you have the same options here, and you have roofs and terrain. So let's just for this demonstration, let's go ahead and use a four meter wall piece and it will snap. Right now we have snapping enabled. And again, you can change your materials by pressing F just like this. So here you go. You got your stone, your rough stone foundation, and you have your wooden foundation. Very, very cool. All right. So let's just say you're going to build with a stone, a wooden foundation, and you want to put up a wall. Press tab and press tab again to exit out after you select your piece and boom, got your wall. The textures on these are absolutely amazing. Now let's say you want to put a window in. We're going to go back into our single. And this is where this tool is very powerful anywhere you want to remove blocks just right click and you can start to make windows just like that so cool i love how it creates a little uh, rock border around all of that now let's say you wanted to put in like the window dividers and all that that's done over on workbench so let's head over there and see if we can craft some of those so we're gonna hit E and we're gonna go right on down here to decorative and we're gonna make some windows just pressing space takes only three logs okay jump back up here and if you press the little button next to the number one on your keyboard you should see it just like so and you're gonna press three and Boom, press it in, just like that. Press that little number again, and you see that gap at the top. If you want to close that gap in, all you need to do, and select this building material here, uh, or the um, single wall block, and click it, and just like that. There you have it, there is a simple wall with a window. But if you wanted to, to add some decoration to it, let's do that really quick. We're gonna come right on over here and we're going to use the same block, but we're going to select the wood. Okay. Again, powerful tool. You can find your walls 
like so. It'll create a lot of nice depth build. Again, this tool, the, the it's up to your imagination at this point. You need so much of it to whatever it is. You do. The good thing is, by doing that, also it creates these nice little support beams, and I just think that's absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So there you have it. Now, uh, that's essentially the building mechanics of this game. Again, very powerful. Use them, your abilities, and create and have fun with this game. Um, it's kind of a game changer, something I've never seen in any other survival games that I have uh, played past. So, Again, highly recommend using those tools to your advantage They're in your arsenal. So just have fun building. Um, so I put together a little um, time-lapse build of this little starter home here. Um, so I'm going to send it over to that. And um, guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in, watching this video. I do greatly appreciate it if you like the video go ahead and leave a thumbs up on it leave a comment down below of what you plan to build once you get your hands on these building tools um, and if you're new to the channel go ahead subscribe to it don't miss out on any other tips and tricks videos as well as building videos because I plan to do a lot of them in this game and again thank you to King Games developers of this game in Shrouded for giving me this opportunity and we will see you in the next video Take care guys bye bye Thank you.